What's up everybody, today we're going to learn a card trick called the Four Rubbers. So today's trick is quite an easy one, I'm just going to go through the presentation. So what you need to do is take a deck of cards, it doesn't need to be set up, doesn't need to be nothing, it could be borrowed deck. So we just need to sort of sift through, and we're going to find out all of the jacks. So when you find them, just put them up like that. Because what we're going to do is go through and tell a story about the jacks. So there's the four of them found, so we'll just take them, put them on there. So we have all the four jacks here, and the thing that they have in common, apart from being called Jack, is that they're all rubbers. What they like to do is meet up and go rob houses and other big buildings, sometimes they rob banks. So today this story is just telling you about the recent robbery that they did. And what they do is they all take it upon themselves because they're different personalities, like the Jack of Hearts. He's a lover, not a fighter, so therefore he stays on the roof and looks after everyone. Jack of Diamonds, he's the one who likes expensive things. So generally, when he's looking through things, he'll go and find the jewellery, the expensive things like the money, that sort of thing. You have the Jack of Spades. He is one of the hitmen, so if there's any issues, then the Jack of Spades is the one who normally takes control and does all of that. And lastly, we have the Jack of Clubs. He's also one of the heavies and the hitmen, so if anything goes wrong, then he'll look into it. So what they do sometimes is the four of them, they get together, and what they do is they draw to different people's houses and things like that and break in. So like I said, the first one he normally likes to do is sneak in the basement. So he goes in the bottom deck and he sneaks in the house. The second one, he's a bit more present, so obviously he's the heavy, so he goes in the front door. Third one, he's a Beatles fan, so he likes to go in through the bathroom window. And like I said, the one on top is the Jack of Hearts, and he's a lover, not a fighter, so he keeps a lookout. So what happens sometimes is when the Jack of Hearts, he's on the lookout, that you can hear the police sirens and the police coming. So what he does, he shouts down all the other jacks. Says, quick, we need to go, you need to come up to the roof, we need to escape, because they have an escape plan set up on the roof. Basically, they clamber down and the escape guys are on the back. So what they do is they head up one by one. So see, you've got the Jack of Hearts, he's on the roof already. Next one, the Jack of Diamonds, he's there with all the money and jewellery. Jack of Spades, and also Jack of Clubs. They up on the roof and you escape out the back and get in the getaway car and then all of the four jacks they sit together and they divvy up what they've gone and that is the four robbers so now for the quick tutorial behind it and like i said at the beginning you just you need a deck of cards it could be any card it could be borrowed it could be anything um, it can be shuffled it can be mixed up it can be anything swing cutters you can do whatever you want because what you're going to do is find all of the jacks so there's the first jack and basically you're just going to look through find all of the jacks and take them out. You can do this a number of ways, you can always have it all set up prior. There we go. So if you want to, you can have the jacks on the top or the bottom or wherever you wanted them. Basically, if you have them on the top, you can just say, right, what we can do is tell a story about the four jacks. The four jacks are there. And I've also seen some other people do it. So you have two jacks on top, two jacks on bottom. So you can sort of Chuck the cards between you, so you do that, that takes out the first two, and then you can chuck it back, that takes out the other two. But generally that only works best on a table, rather than sort of in your hand, so you can have somewhere to chuck it. So yeah, anyway, you have the four jacks, so you want them together, and you basically go through and tell the pattern. So let's say there's going to be the four robbers, that they all come together and do this and this. So what we're going to do is just discuss the mechanics behind it, and the way that I prefer to do it. There's a couple of ways on YouTube, but this is the way that I favoured. Basically what you need to do is take them four cards, and you also need another three cards. So essentially you're going to have seven cards there, and those are what's going to go on the top of the deck. So the way I like to do it is have the cards face up, and once you've found the jokers, you put them on the top of the deck, and then you can just sort of go through and say, look, these are the four jokers. And what I actually do is push off the extra three cards, and then underneath, you can do is have your little pinky there, so when you push off the three cards, you have the pinky underneath on the other, the main deck of cards, and push them back together, and now you've got that nice pinky break. So again, I'll just show you on this camera up closer. One, two, three, four. Push the extra three. So since you've got them in your hand, you put your 
pinky there on the deck so when you square them up you're now left with that. So you can do that just while talking just briefly one two three four these are the four jacks and what I like to do is to get together and then what I like to do is just pick them up and at the same time fold the deck over. So as you pick them up just fold that deck over and you can put them on top or you can have them in your hand and you can talk about them but what you don't want to show is that obviously when they're looking through the four jacks they can see the next card is that card so when you get your pinky break when you take them up the bottom card's different so that's why i like to just say like that turn that over and then you have these in your hand so you can do whatever you want so you can talk about them you can even do the presentation on there so you say that that and that there's the four jacks the way I like to do it as well is put in the extra bit about the different suits and that sort of thing so you can have it as a story but also the, the sequence that you need it. So the way I do it is say uh, you got the Jack of Hearts, he's a lover not a fighter. So out of the four Jacks, that is the one that needs to be on the bottom there. So basically you talk about that one first, say so he's on the roof. Got the Jack of Diamonds who likes to steal all the expensive things. Jack of Clubs, Jack of Spades, they are sort of the heavy stuff and then goes wrong they do that and then obviously when you've got your your four palm off your three put them on the top and this is where you do all the presentation so this is the situation that you're in now the top three cards are three random cards which you've taken from the bottom followed by your four jacks so what you're going to say is the first robber he went in the basement so you can either take the card like that and leave it like that or you can push it in. I prefer to push it in so you can see a duck in the middle of the deck but if you wanted to you could leave it out so for this example I'll just leave it out. You say the next one he likes to go through the front door so you can see there there's the two robbers and the third one it's normally in the bedroom window but I like to change it up and say he's a Beatles fan so therefore he goes in the bathroom window which is like the song. So there you go you have the three cards there and you can even do sort of you can do a bit more of a show with it, so you can show them like that. So there's the three robbers, and also you have the Jack of Hearts who stays on the roof. And what they do is they all go into the house together, so you push them in. So essentially what you've done is three cards which you took from the bottom of the deck, put on the top, they've now gone into the deck. So you're left with the four jacks on top. And then you just do the story of, so they're in the house and the Jack of Hearts, he was the one on the roof. He's a loving off fighter, he keeps a lookout, so the police is coming and do different things. So I like to just sort of dribble the deck like that and say that's when they're running up the stairs or run to the roof to escape because they have a getaway car that they can get from the roof. And then you just basically do your show. So if you've got a table in front of you, it's much better because you can just sort of flip them out, leave them on the table, and it's a bit it's a bit more a visual presentation rather than just sort of saying, Yeah, well, that one came up, that one came up, that one came up and that one came up. Because what you could do is just have it on the floor like this. So I'll just use the, this and say first jack, second jack, third jack, fourth jack. And it's a bit easier just to show them like that rather than just sort of having to fold them out. Or you could just always do, take the fourth and just say, yeah, and you had the four jacks and they all escaped onto the roof, went and got away a car and they disappeared. Or you could change up the story again. So you can say, so the four, Jacks came to the roof and unfortunately the police were there so they all got caught and they all got arrested. So yeah, that's just a general story that you can do with the Jacks, you can do it with a lot of different things so you can make the story with kings or queens or aces or anything really. So you can have different things like that. You just basically, it's the same mechanics around it. So you take the four cards that you want and also, so say there, we're doing sixes and twos. We take them extra three cards, square them up and when you take them, put them on the top of the deck and you hide those next three cards in the deck you're left with the other four cards that you wanted so the two twos and the two sixes if you're doing a show for people and you have four different people you can get them to pick four different cards so just see these four there so spectators can pick those four cards and then what you could do is put them on the bottom of the deck and say right what we're going to do is we're going to take all of your four cards here as you can see and i'm going to take them as we're on top of the deck, I'm going to lose them in the deck, like so, 
and of course you haven't lost the cards that were chosen, you're still left with the four chosen cards that you had at the beginning. So that's another quite way to, to do the visual representation of it with the chosen spectator cards when you have four of them. So yeah, that's it for that tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you sort of learned it. And if there's anything else that you need going over, please give me a shout and I'll put up another video as like a, a part two or a, a different version of this and I'll go through all the other things that you, you need help with. And if you wanted to leave a comment below for any different tricks that you want to learn. So if you've got anything specific that you're stuck on or you're interested in learning that you've seen someone else do, just drop a comment below and I'll create a video on it. So until next time, See ya.